hello friends in this video we are going to talk about the swellings of the fetal head when there is a delivery of the baby normal delivery we see different kind of swellings on the head of the fetus basically two types of swellings are there and we need to differentiate them for the purpose of further management and the uh, problems with the patients now see the first swelling can be it can be the caput succedidum and the second it can be cephalohematoma now uh, from the name only you can identify what is the problem there caput succedinum caput succedinum if uh, you can see any blurred uh, thing in the name of the uh, this swelling okay while you see cephalohematoma that hematoma means there is him there is blood there is collection of blood so by definition what is caput succedinium it is a localized swelling of the scalp due to effusion of serum above the periosteum so this is the brain tissue uh, okay this is the brain tissue here now uh, brain tissue uh, and this is the cranium osteal cranium okay and just before the cranium we see a, another layer that is periosteum and above the periosteum we see is what subcutaneous tissue and cutaneous tissue so where we see the uh, uh, the the effusion of the serum into the scalp into the scalp subcutaneous tissue okay that is called caput succedinium while the cephalohematoma what happens here you see there is a blood collection hematoma means blood collection and where there is a blood collection below the periosteum this is the periosteum line and there is a below periosteum uh, collection of blood and why the blood collects there because there is sub periosteal arteries sub periosteal vessels there and because of rupture of that vessels the blood is collected between the uh, between the bone and the periosteum so that is cephalohematoma okay now if we see about caput succedinium okay uh, it happens due to uh, due to a very strong stagnation of the fetal head in only one position uh, the fetal head is only one position and full, uh, it is pressed out by the cervix dilating cervix so for long time that's why this swelling occurs it is a diffuse swelling this swelling can be diffusible for example this swelling can if you press here then the swelling comes to here okay if you press here in the spelling of swimming. it can be diffusible okay it is soft and pits on the pressure it is soft and pits on the pressure present above the periosteum as, as we see present above the periosteum it can cross the suture line because it is above the periosteum it has nothing to do with the suture in the bones and the periosteum so it can readily cross the suture lines okay it presents at the birth and start regressing immediately after birth and actually it is disappeared within few hours okay it's not associated with any fracture or jaundice or whatever it is it is very uh, very benign thing and, and no problem in that and uh, we don't have to worry anything about but the cephalohematoma yes we need to have a worry because there is a blood connection uh, between the periosteum of the skull, skull bones and the bones itself as it is, it's between bone and the periosteum. When the bone ends, the periosteum also ends. So at the level of suture, one bone ends. So periosteum also ends there. And uh, that's why it cannot cross over the suture lines. It cannot be uh, pressed and uh, there cannot be a pit on pressure. Okay. So cannot cross suture line it is present under periosteum and it can occur after birth even and grows longer and disappear after a week it is longer duration it is associated with fracture of the uh, fracture of the fetal skull and uh, followed by jaundice why jaundice because there is a collection of blood and the blood is definitely absorbed with the time and the bilirubin will come into the blood circulation and at the time we have a jaundice. Okay, a cephalohematoma should never be drained. Cephalohematoma can be differentiated from the meningocele as a trans illumination test. 
and uh, there is no cuff reflex in this cephalohematoma and also in this uh, caput succedinium while we, if we talk about meningocele there is a cuff reflex okay this is i think the swelling is thank you